when you pray for something, stop worrying about how it is going to happen. Also, too, when you pray for something, if you begin seeing things go against what you are praying for, don't become discouraged. For instance, let's say that you are sick or something and you have faith in God that you are healed now even though you are still feeling sick. Keep believing that you are healed even though you feel sick. Even if you begin feeling worse, continue believing you are healed and you may think to yourself, Kevin, that doesn't make any sense. Let me ask you a question. How can you make sense, natural sense, of the supernatural? Think about the power of God. Like, how can you make earthly sense out of the power of God? Like, if you use the human mind, I don't think it can really comprehend the power of God. So when you pray for something, believe it is already done even though you don't see it or you don't have it. Even if you receive evidence that what you are praying for is not going to happen, never stop believing. For instance, you are believing in God for a better car and uh, you are being denied at this place, being denied at that place, like you are being denied for a loan or whatever else like that. Keep on believing that you have that car, even though you don't have it and you don't see it. That is faith. Keep on believing that you have it. That is key. Once again, even if you receive so much evidence that you will not get what you are believing in for, keep on believing. Like, what do you really have to lose? Please think about that. What are you really losing in believing for what you want. I was in a situation years ago. Some people were telling me, in so many words, Kevin, what you are believing for in God, that is not going to happen. In so many words, that is what they were saying. Maybe not in those exact words, but pretty much in those words, if you know what I mean. Anyways, at first I was in fear, if I remember correctly. Then it came a time to where I had to begin ignoring them. To be quite honest, I believe I was receiving so much evidence that I was not going to receive what I wanted. And I waited, and I waited. I waited more than one year. I believe I waited more than two years. Maybe around the two year mark or more, I would say, I pretty much got what I wanted. Those people that were saying in so many words that I was not going to get what I wanted, maybe two or three apologized to me. You may say, Kevin, why didn't they all apologize? Hey, I don't know. Some people may judge what you are believing in God for. 
like they may not have the faith to believe in God on the same level as you. Are you listening to what I am saying to you? Just because it is impossible for them, it doesn't mean it is impossible for you. In fact, you may have to keep what you are believing in God for a secret from some people. Whether they know it or not, some people may drain your faith in God. They may think they are doing a service to you as if they are helping you out. Imagine that. Put God first in your life. Rely on him and his word. May God bless us.